Hi everyone, Frank Westfall here. In this video, I will show you how to enable and use BitLocker disk encryption with or without a TPM chip and how to use BitLocker to go with Windows 10 or Windows 11. BitLocker is an application that is built into all Microsoft operating systems since Windows 7 and it allows you to encrypt the contents of your system disk or your system disk and another disk and also encrypt the contents of removable disks like USB flash thumb drives. This means that if those disks are ever lost or stolen or the computer itself is ever lost or stolen, anyone who has those disks won't be able to read any of the data on it unless they have the encryption key as well. And as long as your encryption key isn't with the computer when it's lost or stolen, there's no way they can have the encryption key. So what that means is that if I lose this laptop or it gets stolen and I have BitLocker disk encryption enabled, even if someone pulls the disk out and puts it in another computer, they will not be able to read the contents on this disk. It is encrypted. And if a person doesn't have BitLocker disk encryption or some other type of disk encryption enabled and they lose their computer and I happen to find it or anyone who's relatively savvy with computers will be able to pull the disk out, put it in another computer and instantly access all the data on it. Anything that's unencrypted is just there for the taking. So I highly recommend that if you have sensitive data on a laptop or a removable thumb drive that you encrypt the contents of it. The worst thing that can happen is you have sensitive data and then you're not thinking about whether or not the device gets lost or stolen and then it gets lost or stolen and you don't care about the actual laptop, you care about the data. Well, with BitLocker disk encryption, if that happens, you don't have to worry because your data is protected. It's not gonna be read, it's not gonna be able to be used. You might be out the device, you might have lost the laptop or you might have lost the thumb drive, but you didn't lose your data. For this video, you will need any PC computer or laptop, a flash thumb drive, and it doesn't have to have much storage, four gigs or above would be fine. And if you're wondering how I'm running Windows 11 without a TPM chip, because I'm gonna show you BitLocker without a TPM chip and with a TPM chip, I show how to bypass the new TPM requirements for Windows 11 in my other video called, Your PC Does Not Meet Minimum Requirements, How to Bypass TPM 2.0 and Run Windows 11 on Older PC. The link for that video will be in the description below. Okay, here we go. First, I'm going to show you how to use BitLocker without a TPM, then with a TPM, and then also show you how to use BitLocker to go for USB flash drives. I'll show you that there's no TPM enabled. This computer actually has a TPM chip, but I have it disabled in the BIOS. To check your TPM status, you can type in tpm.msc in the search run bar. And you can see that this computer doesn't think it has a TPM chip because when it's turned off in the BIOS, it doesn't even get powered on. It's like the chip doesn't even exist when you turn it off in the BIOS. So we don't have a TPM chip, but we're still going to use BitLocker just fine. The next thing we want to do is in the search run box, type in gpedit.msc. And we want to go to local computer policy administrative templates, expand that, go to Windows components, expand that, and then go to BitLocker drive encryption and expand that, and then operating system drives. And then if we slide this over, over here, require additional authentication at startup. Double click that, turn it to enabled, and then check this box if it isn't already checked. Allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM. Requires a password or startup key on a USB flash drive. We're going to hit OK. So now we can use BitLocker without a TPM. And we can go to Control Panel. And then BitLocker Drive Encryption. And then we just want to turn on BitLocker. And this is where you want to insert your USB drive. We're going to need it in a second. You can choose to use a USB drive to decrypt the disk before operating system login, or you can choose to use a password. 
and I'll show you what it looks like with a password login in a second when we're done with this. I'm going to use a password to decrypt the system drive. I recommend using a complex password for this. And then we're going to save the recovery key onto the flash drive. I've already named this one Win11 BitLock. And then hit next. And you can choose the first option. If you want to do your whole disk, it does take longer, but that just encrypts the entire disk regardless of whether or not there's data on the disk. For the purpose of speed, I'm going to do the top option here. And I'm going to use the new encryption mode. Here you want to uncheck this and then hit start encrypting. And then you get this notification. Encryption is in progress. Encryption of C by BitLocker Drive Encryption has started. When BitLocker Disk Encryption is running, even before it's finished encrypting the entire disk, you can shut down and restart the computer. It picks up wherever it left off when you shut down the computer if it hasn't finished its encryption process. The encryption process is a one-time thing. And then after that, it's just encrypted. This is what logging in looks like after you've enabled BitLocker without a TPM chip. You're first asked for a password to decrypt the system disk, and then you enter the password to log in. And those can be two separate passwords or they could be the same. I recommend that they're different. So first I'm just gonna enter the BitLocker password. Now the system disk is decrypted and the operating system can load. And now I can log into the operating system. And I'm in. That's what logging in looks like when you use BitLocker without a TPM chip. If you use BitLocker with a TPM chip, it looks exactly like normal login because the TPM delivers the decryption password as the computer starting up automatically without you even knowing that's happening. Okay, so I've turned my TPM chip on in the system BIOS. And if you're not sure if you have a TPM chip, you can go into your BIOS and go under security. And then if you have TPM, you'll see TPM security as an option. I'm gonna turn on my TPM chip now and then show you BitLocker with TPM. Hit apply. And then when you hit apply, you get these options. I'm going to do TPM ACPI support. And then you have to hit activate as well. And now the TPM chip can be used by the motherboard and by the operating system. Hit apply and exit. That's how you turn TPM on in your BIOS. Now I'm going to turn on BitLocker again, but this time with a TPM chip. First, I'm just going to do the TPM.msc command in the search slash run bar to show the TPM status. So here it shows that there is a TPM chip and you can actually also check the firmware version of your TPM chip right here. Specification version 1.2. This is a TPM chip that is running TPM firmware 1.2. can exit out of that and then I'm just going to also show you that the group policy modification has been undone as well. So if I go back to that same spot, you can see that I've reverted this to not configured. Then go to control panel and BitLocker drive encryption again. Turn on BitLocker and we want to save the recovery key to this disk. This is the USB disk that I have. Say yes. Your recovery key has been saved. And it's really important that you save your recovery key and then actually keep it because if you get locked out of your disk and you need to get back in, you have to have that encryption key or you will not be able to get that data. I've actually had to use my recovery key to get into an encrypted disk before. So just keep it in a safe place and then hit next. And we're going to use the top option again. And then new encryption mode, yes. 
And then for this one, we can actually do the run BitLocker system check. What it's going to do is look for a TPM chip. And it says, okay, everything looks good. Restart now, and then the encryption will start. Okay, I've restarted, and I'm going to check the status of the BitLocker encryption. Uh, control panel, BitLocker drive encryption. And you can see that the encryption is in progress right now. You'll notice that you're able to shut down and restart the computer and it does not disrupt the process of the encryption. You can also turn off BitLocker here very simply by hitting turn off BitLocker. And then this will decrypt the disk. The disk has been decrypted and now we're back to where we started. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to use BitLocker to go, which is for use with USB flash thumb drives. So maybe you don't want to encrypt your entire system disk inside the computer itself, but you want to have some sensitive data encrypted in a flash thumb drive. You can use this to do that. So I'm going to encrypt this flash thumb drive. Just turn on BitLocker. We're going to use a password to unlock it. And then I'm going to save the BitLocker encryption key. I'm going to actually just put it on the desktop of this computer. I recommend actually putting it on a separate USB drive, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to put it just on the desktop of this computer. The recovery key has been saved. That step is really important. You want to make sure that you see your recovery key has been saved. And hit next, and then we're going to use the top option again. And compatible mode has to be used for drives that can be moved from the device. Hit next. And yes, we are ready to start encrypting this USB drive. Now I'm going to remove this drive and then plug it back in so you can see what it looks like when you plug the drive in. So go to eject media, save to remove, pull it out, and then put it back in. BitLocker drive encryption, unlock drive D. The drive is BitLocker protected. Enter the password. And now the drive has been unlocked and we can access the data on it. There isn't any data on this. It's just the recovery keys from the testing of BitLocker that I did before the video and then also the recovery keys that we created during this video. And I also want to show you real quick what it looks like if you have the USB disk in and you haven't entered the BitLocker decryption key. So this is what it would be like for someone that found your USB disk, but they don't have the BitLocker password to decrypt the drive. They plug it in their computer, they go to access it, and they're not getting in. Even if they loaded this up on a Linux system or some other type of computer, and then they can actually open it, the actual data in it is encrypted. So it's just a bunch of gibberish. It doesn't make any sense. You can also decrypt the USB drive the same way that you decrypted the system drive. I just did a decryption of the USB drive, so it's just back to a normal USB drive. All you have to do is hit the turn off BitLocker under BitLocker to go, and then select the drive, and then hit turn off BitLocker. All right, that's it. I hope this information was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel for more computer tutorials videos, and please check out the ones I already have. I'm building a large library of computer tutorial videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.